a little bit of a, this, this is part of my speech. This is like where I got some of my citations from. So you can listen to this if you want. Appreciate that question. Um, no, no, I don't think college athletes are given enough time to really take advantage of uh, the free education that they're given. Um, and it's frustrating because, because a lot of people say, you know, get, get upset with student athletes and say that they're not focused on school and, and they're not taking advantage of, of the opportunity they're given. I would love for, for a regular student to, to have a student athlete schedule during the season for just, just one quarter or one semester and, and, and show me how you balance that. You know, show me how you would, you would schedule your classes when you can't schedule classes from, from 2 to 6, six o'clock on any given day. You know, show me how you're going to get all your work done when you, but after, you know, you get out at 7.30 or so, you got to test the next day, and you're dead tired from practice, and you still have to study just as hard as everybody else every day and get all the same work done. You know, most of these kids are, are, are done with school, you know, done with class by 3 o'clock. You got the rest of the day to do, do what you please. You know, and you, you're sitting here, you may, <coughs> excuse me, uh, you may spend a few hours studying, uh, then you may spend a few hours at the library checking out books and just doing casual reading. Then you may go hang out with friends and have a coffee. When you're a student athlete, you don't have that kind of time. All right. I'm not going to play the whole thing because it's over three minutes long. So with that in mind, my topic was over here. Uh, so what do you think when you hear the word student athlete? Do you think of the word jock first, or do you hear, think of the word student? Uh, most things that I've heard are about negative about student athletes. How, how some are dumb jocks is a term that I absolutely cannot stand being because they're all about one sport or how stupid they are because they need a tutor every day helping them. But what do we not take, what, what we do not take in consideration is the schedule of a student athlete. Student athletes are students who, part who are participating in a school organized sports team. Some examples are you got football players, you got swimmers, you got basketball players, you got baseball players, you got hockey if the school has it, you got cheerleaders, you got dancers, all examples of student athletes. In a speech that I recently seen by Richard Sherman, uh, he said, I, as you just heard, he said, I would like to see a regular student have a student athlete for a quarter or even a semester and see how well they balance out. This could not be more well said than it was. I would seriously like to see a regular student have a student athlete schedule where you wake up and the first thing you got to do is you got to go lift weights. And then the next thing you got to do is you got to go to class. Then after class, you grab yourself a quick bite to eat. Then after a quick bite to eat, you got to go to meetings. And then after meetings, you got practice. And then after practice, you got to come back. And then you got about maybe three or four hours to do all the work that you miss or you have to do for that next day. And uh, those were wise words. Those were later on in the speech, but those were wise words by Richard Sherman. And then, like, also he said that a regular student has nothing to do after they're done for the day. You know, they get, they, they get done a class by 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock. What do you guys do? They go back. They go study. They go to the library. They hang out with friends. They watch Netflix. Student athletes don't have that kind of time. 20 minutes of free time that we have are usually spent – Netflix, going to bed, you know, maybe talking to a loved one back home, maybe calling your family members. So, and like I just put on the board, there's a graduation success rate, and this was according to the NCAA, it was from a website that we got, and, and overall, the NCAA student athletes, 80% of them graduate. You got men's basketball, 44%, you got women's basketball, which 100%, so if you play basketball, then you're pretty good shape to graduate. Uh, baseball, 66, softball, 89, and you got football, 71%. For example, Morningside College had over 40 student athletes get academic All-American in the fall or winter sports. Now, that's achievement, if you ask me. Also, more than a third of student athletes were on the dean's list for the first semester. So, what does that tell you about what student athletes do to be able to, you know, keep up with their academics with no matter how long they have? And the downtime we have mostly is we go to bed. We have 20 minutes of free time to watch Netflix, call our parents back home. You know, it's sacrifices like these that we have to make to be able to do well in school and maintain the eligibility of the 2.0 GPA that we have to say, take. So what do you think of when you hear the word student athlete now? Do you still think that we are dumb jocks? Do you think we only focus on our sport? I want you to take some of this information back with you. And next time before you go and judge a student athlete or laugh at them for getting extra help from the library or – are dragging their butt to class because they are dead tired from the night before, go ahead and pull yourself, put yourself in their situation and ask yourself, how would you be able to manage one of their schedules? 
Just take five minutes, think to yourself of how of how hard it is to be a student athlete in college. That put that puts academics and graduation rate first, then help build their athletes into the athletes you see perform on the court, in the pool, and on the field. I think it timed out.